good? Yep. Okay. All right. And we are back between two Yetis with Tony from Sea Keepers. How yes. are you, sir? Good, good, good. Nice good. We're actually at the Sea Keepers party, day three of the Miami Boat Show. Yep. You guys have had a fantastic party here today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's been uh, very enjoyable here a couple of hours, and the McAllen stand was particularly nice. That was the best part, I think. That yeah. was that was a nice touch. <laughs> that was... But uh, obviously, I'm a member of the YPY, so I know all okay. about Sea Keepers. Okay. Okay. But can you just give us a quick rundown yeah. of who you are? And yes. What you guys yeah. Do? The elevator pitch is um, so we facilitate marine research and conservation efforts by linking yacht owners with researchers and scientists that need to go out and do field research. And what we do is we save about 90% of their budget um, because usually all their money has to go to chartering boats to go out there and do what they got to do. Yeah. So we say, here, take take this boat for free. free of, you know, Maybe they'll pay for fuel here and there, but for the most part, we're just trying to donate time on yachts for them to go out and do what they have to do. And it's really important research most of the time. And what so. kind of research is done? I mean, is it a wide vary, it's, like it, reefs and stuff? Or? It is. It's uh, reefs that maybe have been damaged due to, um, you know, hurricanes. And, you know, we've seen some bad hurricanes in, in, in this past year. Um, and that does affect coral reefs. Yep. So seeing how they've been maybe destroyed and how we can restore those reefs. Okay. That's one thing. There's a lot of shark research going on with uh, some of our research partners. So a lot of shark tagging and just keeping track of uh, certain... And it's like the great white sharks, yeah? Um, yeah, and I, I think a lot of the ones that we are focusing on now are tiger sharks in the Bahamas and... And, and tiger sharks. sharks are the ones that are killed for their fins, right? That Well, see, that's another thing is uh, a lot of the killing for the fins. I think it's happening in Asia. Yeah. And we do have an Asia chapter based out of Singapore. Oh, very cool. Which I'll be heading to Singapore um, well, in it's, April. It's funny because I saw a documentary with Gordon Ramsay. Love that guy. Uh, but a lot of them come into Costa Rica. Okay. And they cut them off there. I was like, oh, really? horrified. It's yeah, like, no, it, it is It is a totally just barbaric slaughter of these poor animals for nothing soup. but a fin. And it, it's all about for a soup, rice. Right, yeah. Like, it, it is. Crazy. It's ridiculous. So, yes, we're trying to you know, if there's something we can do in, in, in terms of helping that effort out, by all means. Um, and uh, you guys are a 5-1C charity? Uh, yeah, 501C3. 501C3. Yeah, 501C3 yeah, yeah. charity. So I nearly had it off the top of my tongue. Almost, now. almost. <laughs> I know. It's one of those things that when you say it enough, it just rolls off the tongue. 501C3. Now, do some people like donate boats to you as well? Like, yes, like well that's that actually, the, the way that we're able to finance our operation is mainly through people donating yachts to us and then we don't you know sell them or what we do is we charter them out okay and then so the the, the income that comes from chartering out these donated yachts um it, it helps fund our operation so so what's like the craziest thing through research that you found out through sea keepers i mean is it like a, a ground bacon research that you guys have been involved with that you know well i mean I, I gotta say that i personally haven't seen some groundbreaking thing because I've only been there since about earlier this summer. Okay. But just in, in, in the time that I've been there, I've been seeing all the different, the variety of different types of research that can be done because why, I mean, three quarters of the earth is water. ocean yeah, yeah, and yeah. water. So there's so many things that affect the environment and, and, and the planet that are ocean-based research. And, and they so, affect everyone. It's yeah, it really problem. does. And, you know, if we're not out there trying to learn all we can about the ocean and the environment and the all the biology that inhabits the ocean, yeah. then we're really not, we're not doing all we can to try to, you know, help the Earth. Absolutely. And, and, and you know, the, the one planet we got. So. Yeah, yeah, the only planet we've got. Yeah, yeah. And we're only likely to have for some time. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah the, the, just the, the sheer variety of things that we've been able to study is, is really, I think, the, the thing that I've, I've taken away from it, which is great. So the event tonight, I mean, is it just to raise awareness or just to thank the members? Or, I mean, what is tonight? It now? is, yeah, well, it's, uh, this is a Brit Week uh, event. And now, um, a couple of people mentioned that. What is Brit Week? Obviously, I've got my British socks on yeah. just to support it. But, uh, it's, um, from what I understand, it, it's uh, basically there's a lot of British people that are involved in the yachting industry. Absolutely. And you know, with you know the Miami boat show going on and everything, it just it coincides. And uh, they're just here, I guess, to come together and 
network and things like that. So, how did you get involved with Sea Keepers? What is that your kind of history with 501-C3? No, um, my my I guess background is more uh, legal. I, I I was I went to law school, graduated okay. law school. You've got the bar? Is that what they call it? Here, the bar? Yeah, the bar exam is what gives you your license to practice uh, law. And uh, shortly before getting my license, which I haven't yet, I got tapped by Moore & Co, which is a uh, maritime law firm. So they, as a law firm, all their clients are, you know, yachts and, and just anything in the, in the maritime field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I got tapped to do a, uh, a two-week project and just help out with something as a sort of legal consultant. Yeah. And, um, and as we, and, and it was, but it was based, in, or it was connected to Sea Keepers. Right, okay. Because uh, Michael Moore, he is the principal attorney at Moore & Co. Right. He's also the chairperson for Sea Keepers. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yes. Okay. So you may have heard his name. He's been in the industry for decades at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so he's actually the, uh, the chairman of Sea Keepers. And so he brought me on to help out with this two week project that was connected with Sea Keepers. And then at the end of those two weeks, I told Richard, which is our, our CEO and president, I said, you know what, we worked really well together on these two and a half weeks. Uh, I'd love to keep helping if, if you need anything else. And he said, you know what, definitely. Uh, we could use you and, you know, two days later I was hired. And we're a very small group and I wear many hats. Yeah, yeah. And I do anything that needs to be done. Well, I'm you're just... doing a wonderful job right here, <laughs> so telling us all about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's a big part of the job is going out there and educating people about what we do, how we do it, and that way hopefully anyone that's interested in helping out can do I it. I mean, if someone was interested in getting involved or getting their boat involved, how would they do it? Would they give you a call? Go they the would give or? me a call or, yeah, well, you can always go to the website, uh, which is just you know, seakeepers.org. Yep. Pretty easy. Um, and they can email me at tony at seakeepers.org. Put a little banner up there maybe. Yeah, yeah. I like it, yeah. And, um, and yeah, and just, you know, all the information is on our website, or you can, you know, email me directly. And yes, you know, whoever wants to help out or is interested in in doing some marine research or donating time on their yacht whenever they're not using it, yeah. for, so these scientists can go out and do what they got to do. By all means, please. That's, That's like a fantastic organization. I it mean, really uh, is. It's, what's it's a great what's idea. coming next? I mean, is there anything big coming on the pipeline? Or well, I mean, we just ha we do have a few projects on the calendar. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, we got some shark tagging coming up. And actually, the thing that's coming up uh, in the next, I would say, two weeks or so, is there are these things called deep gliders, yeah. and they, they look like a torpedo, yeah. and they're kind of these uh, autonomous, or rather, you, you control them, they're kind of like drones. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the ROV thing, which is, you know, remotely operated vehicles, yeah. that's been used for a long time. But these, what's new and exciting about these is that they can go down to 6,000 meters, which is by Crazy. far the deepest yeah. of any instrument in, in science that, yeah. I've, that I've ever heard that of. It probably can stay down there for a long time. It can, you know, and as long as, yeah, as long as there's a good connection between the unit and the controller, it can go down to 6,000 meters. And I mean, this is an alien world to us. Absolutely. You know, there's things down there that we don't even know about yet. Yeah. Um, and, and this is something you guys are involved with, like yeah, mapping this yeah. Yeah. stuff. Um, uh, Charlie, he is a researcher from the University of Washington, and um, he just called me up one day because he just heard about us yeah. and what we do. And he said, you know, I could really use a boat that's going to the Bahamas uh, so I can deploy these things and test them out because there is a, a region in the Bahamas called the Tongue of the Ocean and it's a very, very deep, it's not as deep as let's say the Mariana Trench yeah, yeah, yeah. and the Pacific, but it's very deep and it's a good preliminary way for them to test this out. And so, so I'm you now, hooked up the boat with him? And exactly. So I talked to one of my fleet captains that I, that I just have a relationship with and I say, hey, Glenn, um, do you have a boat available that can take Charlie to the tongue of the ocean? And he'll say, yeah, I got something. And then there we go. We've just created a scientific expedition. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. That's so that's really what we got coming up in the next like three or so weeks. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, you've been interesting. Thank you well, very much for your time. Thank you. Great party. Thank you very much for the invite. Of course, guys. of course. Perfect. Yeah. So.